Hey, what's up guys? How's it going tonight? Got a little bit of a uh, popper stream going tonight. Been a hot minute since we played any popper. And just getting the stream rolling here, but excited to be on popper tonight uh just because like i say it's been a while since we played popper okay let's see so i was letting the opponent know that they changed the control the command for drawing cards and I think we can keep this hand basically on the back of fairy seer it's really gonna pull a lot of weight on helping make sure we hit our land drops we are also on the draw which is good and we're probably up against uh, five color ephemerate let's just assume everyone's gonna be on five color ephemerate But Fairy Seer, if we can scry our way to a land, I guess we'll just top top. Would have been better, obviously, to have an un untapped island, but either way. So we got, got a land drop coming our way, which is good. He goes planes into, uh, yep, core sky fisher. Makes sense. And passes to us. Okay. Let's draw the evolving wilds that we knew about. <coughs> kind of tough what to do here if we fetch mountain. Do we fetch island or do we just not fetch at all? If we don't fetch it all, we're really going a while before we have like two mana available, which is a huge bummer. But I guess if we're, you know, pretty focused on the late game, then maybe that's just the cost that we have to pay. Cycles and Ash Barons. For a mountain so maybe he's just on red white like boros not five color ephemerate attack for two i suppose we can take a couple of attacks because we do have like a lot of burn here so it's not like it's going to be for forever i think we're just going to take a draw or, or take the card we know about rather <coughs> and that kind of sucks our lands coming in tapped like that but I do think it's it's this important to hit our land drops that we should just do this ash barons hmm. so I wonder if he's gonna um, guardian of the guild pack or whatever that cards called and like claim the monarch that's a possibility So we know he has a mountain in hand. We don't know the rest of his hand. Attack for two puts us to 16. We do have to try to be conscious of how much burn he could have. His What would he play? Trying to think of any are there any scred effects they just go straight to the face maybe not okay yep just gonna let everything happen and gonna fetch end of turn and at least we're gonna have our mana base relatively squared away so 
Do we know about two lands in his hand then? I think I think we know that two of the cards in his hand are in fact lands. Okay. Now our mana base is looking reasonable. So that's good for us. Drawn to a preordain. So do we want to like bolt this sky fisher attack for one hold up counter sprite slash counter spell? I think I like that plan. We're gonna attack because we're obviously not blocking, so it's it's a free single point of damage. Might as well get that in while we can. We went with the bolt over the scred because we might have to scred something for four, maybe. And also because his life total is so high that we're not really looking to go bolt to face because that's like just really innocuous. So land, Arkham's Astrolabe. We're not going to fight over the Astrolabe currently. We do have four main deck annuls in this list. Just because of how warped the format is currently. Okay, not going to fight over the prism. Two mana open. There's not a ton he could do. Probably... Uh, I could just sprite on nothing here. I think I'll wait though. I think we can get more value out of the sprite than that. So let's just wait. There's an annul. It would have been great to have that earlier, but um, I think I'm yeah. gonna. S I think I'm going to scred this core Sky Fisher right now. He could go for an Ephemerate on the Sky Fisher, and if he does, we can Sprite the Ephemerate. So I think I like this. Okay. Attack for one, put him to 17, and just pass. So he's got a lot of mana, all his mana is fixed. He's kind of spinning his wheels here with these artifacts. But at least we've got a threat on board, and he's got no threats. Uh, Galvanic Blast. That is a card we should have on our radar. We could get Galv Blasted out of the game. Every Galvanic Blast is going to hit us for four currently, so... Okay, we're not going to fight over a Thraben Inspector, it's just too small. Obviously, I want to use the sprite eventually. One, two, three, four. What would he have for four? A battle screech. That I'm going to counterspell. Okay. One mana. White, Thraven Inspector. Okay. Okay, so we got to be conscious of another battle screech coming down the very next turn. Hmm. This is tap three untapped. Uh, hmm. So if I think we do, do we want to ninja here? I think we do want to ninja here. What's the plan though? We could just scred a Thraben Inspector to try to slow down this Battle Screech from hitting us. Uh, or we could hold up, we could leave up blue for uh, like a Preordain to try to hit our land drop. I think I like the scred plan more though. So I think I'm just going to go with that. Um, or we can replay the Fairy Seer. Um, let's do let's go I still think I'm gonna go with the scred plan it is like incredibly close but I think I'm gonna go with the scred plan okay 
to try to slow down this battle screech. Because now he needs to play two creatures and not attack in order to recast the battle screech. And granted, he might do that. He might play two creatures, not attack, recast battle screech. Um, it's just that that's his whole turn, I suppose. So we got lots of kind of like card draw mana fixing. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Exiles are ninja. We weren't realistically going to be able to protect that though. Attack suggests to me that he doesn't plan on flashing back Battle Screech. So he becomes Monarch. That kind of does suck. It's probably, it's probably more or less the game right there. Him becoming Monarch. Plays planes and passes. Okay. We draw into a Brainstorm. So, I guess I'm going to Fairy Seer first, Scry 2, and we find, we see a mountain, and I think twice. So, what's the plan? Bottom, bottom, maybe? And then play a preordain. Hopefully find a land off this preordain. So we're gonna scry two and island ninja. I think we're on the sprite plan. What does ninja gain us? I don't think ninja is very good against his deck, so I'm gonna bottom the ninja, top the island, draw island, play island. Whoops. Untap the mountain. Okay. Uh, my gone. Oops, sorry. Something weird happening with my headset. Uh, so probably we're just gonna hold up sprite. And pass the turn, I think. Which is not the worst. I can kind of live with that. Okay. Land. So he does actually look to be flooding out a little bit. I would say that. That looks to be the case here. Galv Blast on my Seer, and I've got a Sprite for that. Nice. So that's a good use of our Sprite. I, I do, I am happy about that exchange. We're going to be able to, presumably we're going to be able to steal Monarch from him, which is really, really damn good. Attack for three. Looks like he might be thinking about flashing back his battle screech. No. I wonder what the hesitation was. Can't say. Taps four. Wait, five? Uh, no. One, two, three, four. Uh, your discards two cards okay so I guess I'm gonna take an additional two damage and I have to discard two cards uh, so I'm probably gonna discard a null and brainstorm okay 
that does kind of suck for us. He's got he's got a pretty strong ground game, so we're gonna have to hope to find like a another scred, I guess. Let's see, we've already gone, we've already used two though, so we have another scred. We have two more bolts, and that's our removal. We have to look forward to. He draws his card 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 off monarch, but we're gonna be able to steal that back. We draw brainstorm. So, I would say preordain. No, maybe auger. Let's lead on auger, I think. and reveal and annul which is not really what we're in the market for but I guess it's something we could discard to this fucking thing if we need to um, preordain okay scry two draw one hmm Kind of tough call here. I could just bottom bottom. I think I'll bottom the sprite. I think I'll top the preordain, even though it's not a bolt. Um, Guess I'll steal Monarch from him. Might as well attack with both our flyers. Because we don't... We're just not... I don't think we're in chump, mo chump mode yet. We're going to be really soon. Okay. We become Monarch. And say so there's nothing else to do but go to our end step draw. Land is not terrible. We can use the land. Pops a clue. Maybe I should have left. Like the fairy seer back to do a double block with fairy seer auger and take out. take out one of his creatures that way I would have basically traded probably the auger for uh, the shinobi thing which would have been I think a good exchange I guess I'll take three down to five and discard a null uh, I think I'm going to discard Brainstorm and all. I think I'm actually going to keep this freaking island because I kind of want, want to hit my land drops, I think. Anyway, I don't know. If that decision's wrong, it's wrong. is a battle screech yeah let's pack it in this game let's go on to game game two he's definitely got game one on us so what do we want against this guy I think electricities are good hydroblast is good what else Stormbound guy seems good. Stone Rain seems okay. Think Twice can come out. Hmm. I don't think Anul is where we want to be because 
he actually seems to have a really good mana base anyway. I what else? I don't think Ninja is very good against him, and we are bringing in a different threat uh, apart from Ninja anyway. So let's go like this and see how that works. Um, but basically, yeah, his, we just got our asses kicked by all those ground creatures. It's interesting, so he's like a Mardu build. That Shinobi, I didn't really see that coming. Okay, so we'll take the play here, and it's, actually, it's honestly kind of a curious hand. I think we keep it because we have a lot of kind of like card selection, card filtering, like a ton. I suppose I just lead on Fairy Seer. Scry 2 here. So I'll take the electricery. I don't think I want a brainstorm though. <coughs> what am I doing next turn? Maybe play Evolving Wilds and hold up brainstorm fetch. Is that what I'm doing? It doesn't seem too too terrible though. Maybe that is what I'm doing. Opponent passes to us. Okay. And yeah, I guess we knew what we were drawing into. Um let's beat in for one. And Yeah, I think we're on like brainstorm fetch. I think that's where we're at this turn. Poor Sky Fisher, returning Astrolabe. Okay, so. Let's do it. So we're gonna brainstorm and draw three. Put two back. I think we can put an island back. Maybe even just put both islands back. Sure. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I think we're pretty set on lands. Put two islands back. Fetch. Oops. Oops. Misclicked. So let's see. Undo last draw. There we go. Okay. Fetch island tapped. Now we go to our untap step. Draw step. Draw an ash barons. Let's fairy seer again. This does open us up to getting blown out by an electricery, but I'm not, we don't need another land. I'm not gonna put him on electricery currently. That's not what I would expect. I guess preordain's fine. If we don't want preordain, we can brainstorm, shuffle it away. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do this turn. That was not a terrible turn, though. I'll, t I'll take that. I'm okay with that turn. So, we 
pass to him. He draws. We are going to have to deal with this core sky fisher, but we have like a decent amount of answers in our deck for that, so. Mountain, Astrolabe, okay. And he's in the tank a little, at least a little bit anyway. He's going to tap out. Not really sure what that indicates or what he might have. I don't think there's much we can beat if he's got, like, say, if he's got electricity in hand right now. I think we're already pretty screwed anyway, so I think I will brainstorm right now. And we put two back huh that's kind of interesting I don't think we need another copy of electricery and maybe we don't want this stone rain right now so let's just do that let's put back stone rain electricery and let's shuffle with the Ash Barons. I think just get Island. I don't see a reason to get another mountain. Because that, that does, if we do, if we had gotten a mountain, that does make our mana pretty awkward. Okay, let's preordain, see where that leads us. Scry 2. There's the bolt, finally. So, we could pre we could just leave this pre on top, draw it, cast it. Let me think. If I do that, no, I think I want to, what do I want to do? Bolt on top, draw the bolt, cast it, and then I'm able to use ninja right away. Yeah. Okay. There's Bolt. Now does he have Ephemerate? I guess he... I don't think his deck plays Ephemerate. He's just kind of on like regular Boros, right? Bolt resolves. I'm gonna go land, start combat, attack, tap these guys, swap one for a ninja. He's gonna kill the ninja. Okay, so he's just gonna take one in that event. And we pass the turn. Okay. So we have a preordain on top, as well as a fairy seer. We do have a, a few things going for us in that regard. Just moving his lands around. Two mountains and an ancient den. No, so Galv Blast is not live just yet. Scred hits for four. Taps four. Palace Sentinels. He becomes Monarch. Okay. <coughs> so now a Scred would be very favorable. Right, two. Oh yeah. Okay. 
do we want another land? I would s presume no, but I will take a fucking scrap. Do I run out this other fairy seer? I'm gonna vote yes, but not positive if that's correct. Hydroblast is a good draw. And then another fairy seer. Hmm. Do I want those cards? Hydroblast and a fairy seer. I'm gonna say no. I think we want like a stormbound guys is what we want at this point. Maybe I should have kept one of the fairy seers because we're gonna draw it end of turn. And we have lots of mana, so it sort of helps set up future turns. I think I'll save the mountain in case we need to discard it to the Shinobi guy. Or we can actually shuffle the mountain away with a brainstorm. How many brainstorms do we have left? One. Still. Kind of leave that option open. Nope. Did I draw for Monarch? He garrisons back a plains. So now we have, I guess, double electricery as a possible option. It's kind of interesting. Wow, just a pass. Pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, attack for two. I don't think I'm gonna play a land right here. I think I'm gonna wait on that. I think I am gonna turn up this music though. So one, two, three, four, five, five mana. And did we draw when we passed? Yes, we did. He plays the planes that we knew about. <coughs> I'm honestly really worried. I don't know if his deck runs electricery, but I'm like really worried about an electricery. I don't know. Seven cards in hand. What could he. What could be going on that would compel him to play like that? I don't know, but I'll cast a preordain because that's kind of innocuous. And sure, I'll take a scred because that helps us answer something bigger if we have if we find that we need to attack for two. I think I might wait on the Delver in case he's got an electricery. I think I'll just pass. Kind of weird having two lands in hand and not playing them, but. Uh, I guess on the remote chance we want to brainstorm them away, I'm going to save them. And it's hard for me to picture needing five or six mana in this match at, at all. Like, I don't know. Maybe, but. Oh, 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 fuck. Draw from Monarch. Right. Bolt. Okay. So, he bounces a land. Two for a journey on a fairy seer. Yeah, not gonna fight over that, obviously. Also, don't have a way to fight over that, but maybe he does not have electric I don't know. 
that would be super bizarre to me if his deck doesn't run electric grease. Now we might actually have an answer for an electric grease, so that might compel me to run out the Delver to try to kill him that much faster. Uh, I guess I'll play the Evolving Wilds because it's like a pseudo scry for the Delver. And then play the Delver. And go to my end step, draw off the Monarch. Gal Blast, so he's going to bolt. Delver for two. Uh, I could try to fight over this, but then I get blown out by. But then I get blown out by um, an electric re, so. I think I'll just wait. I guess, let's see. I guess thinning with Ash Barons is pretty free. We can do that um, on his end of turn. Plays a planes that we knew about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana, is he like just gonna pass with eight mana up again? I don't know what this guy is doing. But it's fine. I'll thin a little bit because that's pretty free action to take. Untap, upkeep, draw. Wow, we drew another electricery. So we got all three electricries, I guess. Attack for one. And I guess I like playing mountain more than discarding hand size, so I'll play it. We draw a counter spell. Yeah, that guy flooded out really bad. I'm not going to reveal my hand, because uh, I don't want him to know the contents of our deck necessarily, but... Okay, so it looks like we are going on to game three. That makes us one and one currently. Game three. So we can start thinking about how we want to side for game three. Uh, maybe all three electricries is way too much. Stone Rain on the draw is not where we want to be. Hmm. His deck definitely does play some instance. Kind of gives us something to do. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'll bring in an, one copy of Vanilla. <laughs> this is kind of 
crazy mix of cards here. We'll find out if it works or not. It's a little all over the map, but one nice thing about having like lots of one ofs like that, um, you have the remote chance of everything just lining up really, really well. Uh, we have card selection here. We obviously need to hit another island, but we have Fairy Seer preordained for card selection. Stormbound Geist would seem to be pretty decent in this match. Hydroblast is decent. Okay, cool. Island is a really good draw. Let's just do an early fairies here and kind of sculpt, start sculpting our hand. So let's just do one top, one bottom. And that way, next turn we can probably go for a ninja. And the following turn go for a stormbound geist. Okay, so what do we need? What does this hand need? Oh, it needs like a scred. So I can preordain here. Try to find something like that. I don't think I want either of those cards. A null is not terrible, it's something to do. It'll slow down his little like bounce shenanigans, so I'd say that's that's worth something. <coughs> we can do a double block on the core sky fissure if need be, with our seer and our geist, and we'd still be left with a geist. Is that worth it? This is a fairy. Draw your card. So at least there exists a way to fix something like that. So what's he gonna do? Just attack for two, I, I presume? So he does have a land drop. He could gout blast us, possibly. We're gonna get hit for two. Second main, core sky fisher, bounce mountain, nope. So he's probably holding up interaction in that event. We can get our ninja in and hydroblast his removal spell, or we can just cast this stormbound geist. I think ninja is the way to go. Start combat, attack. 
Ninja the Fairy. Go to damage. If he tries to Hydro, tries to Galf Blast it, we're gonna Hydro Blast his spell. Cool. So we counter his spell and we hit him for two and we draw a card. And we pass the turn. And the following turn, we're gonna have the option of Fairy Seer plus Sprite. Or we can just drop the Stormbound guys. Probably wants to hold this back on D. Never mind. 16 to 18. Of note, he only has one white land currently. Kind of prevents, it does prevent him from casting, say, for example, a battle screech. Okay. So I think I want to do Stormbound Geist here. Because that basically, yeah, it just requires an answer. In this case, I think we do want to play out the land because we have a couple of spells that cost enough mana. Pyroblast, the Stormbound Geist is, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Nothing, not much to be done about that. Tax for four puts us to 12. He's got a great furnace in hand. Cycles probably for a planes. <coughs> um, yep. So we know one card in his hand and then he has one unknown. Um, I suppose a Bolt would be one of our best draws right now, but it's not looking super good. Uh, so I could do two for Augur. To try to find an answer. Then it's partially a question of what lands am I tapping. And I would vote for Island Island. Try to give myself some options. Okay. There's a scred. So that helps the situation a little bit. And do we fairy seer here or do we hold up to spell? I think hold up to spell. I haven't played a land yet, so let's do that. I still think it's possible we kinda need all these all of the land all these lands. So I think playing the land here in this situation is correct. And here I am gonna pop off a scred, I think. Take two down to ten. He might be flooding out a bit, seemingly flooding out a bit, yeah. I guess I'll get another mountain on the offhand chance that we find ourselves in a position of wanting to cast two red spells in a turn. It's not super likely, but there's a bolt. Let's fairy seer here. Probably resolves. We might, we just might be pulling out of this. Augur counterspell, that's looking pretty good. Let's just top top those. Yep. 
attack for one. Got an answer to the glint talk. Can sprite something for one or two. Bouncing a land. Yeah, it looks like he is flooding out. I think I am going to bolt this glint hawk right now. If he, yep, yeah, I was going to say if he tries to save it with a prismatic strand, I'll probably counter that. Okay, so we got auger into counter spell. I'm just going to auger right away. There's a Hydroblast. Too bad we're missing out on this Delver because that would be a much better clock for us. But we still are able to get in for two here. And okay. So we have Counterspell, Sprite, or Dispel. So we, ha we have, or yes, yeah, so we have actual three different counter effects in hand. It's kind of cool. Opponent draws, kind of seems like he's flooding out hardcore. And a firebolt to shoot this auger for two. Or shoot the fairy seer for two. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Could tr I could sprite that, but I mean, like, I don't know. I think there's going to be better shit to sprite, right? Like a Galv Blast. Kind of want to save sprite for Galvanic Blast. We're at 10. I guess he doesn't really have Galv... Mat Galv Met he doesn't have Metal Craft, sorry, is the word I was looking for. But I could picture a world where he has some good draws and he's able to pull off Metal Craft. Here, do we play this land? We have brainstorms to draw into. So I think I'm gonna save this land because we have brainstorms to draw into. The flood is real, dude. I, res I was just talking about brainstorm. I'm gonna main phase this brainstorm in case we draw into What's it called? Um, Ninja. Okay, so we're gonna put back Island. Um, yeah, let's just put back Island and maybe, oh well, shit. Okay, so we'll put back Evolving Wilds and Counterspell, because we can't possibly play two Counterspells in one turn. We'll play the Island, because this opens us up to Counterspell plus Dispel, or Counterspell plus Sprite. We'll attack for two. Yeah. And so we have a Counterspell on top followed by an evolving wilds so we got we got everything pretty well covered does seem to be flooding out pretty badly. So 
so he says 22 I bought infinite lands but I took off one in the side Paducah box so now it's 21 yeah that seems fine not sure why you flooded so bad that's a bummer So that was a good game. Um, so let's update our record. So we are now two and one. Do I still want to play Scred Delver? Or do I want to try to switch to a different deck or just want to call the stream? There's actually someone else looking for a popper player. I wouldn't mind playing a different deck. So, what do I want to play though? How about our Bant list? Let's play that. So I need to update this stream a little bit. So I need to go to, 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 to my streaming service and I can change the list to Bant. Okay. And now if I go to Twitch, da, 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 I can change this to uh, saying Popper Delver, saying Popper Bant Flicker. Popper Bant Flicker Update information And lastly playing Bant Flicker da, 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 da. Okay Draw seven Island Growth Chamber, Temporal Spring, Memory Lapse, Memory Lapse. Let's see, let's see this. I guess we have some answers. We just, yeah, if we can find a white land, this hand's looking really good. And he's gonna keep seven. <coughs> if we can find a white land, this hand's looking good. We can cast three of these spells, three of the four spells in our hand, as it is. Wall of Runes, okay. The defender, when it enters the battlefield, scry one. I've definitely never seen that card ever. I don't know, anyone else has seen this card before. Shield Sphere Defender, so he's on some kind of wall strategy. When it blocks, put a zero, minus zero, minus one counter on it. So he must be running some kind of spell it's gonna allow him to deal damage based on a creature's toughness, I would guess. Now we at least have something to do with our one mana before we bounce this land back to our hand. And I don't really think we want either of these cards. I think we super want to try to hit a white land if possible. Explore is at least something we can do next turn. Gonna play this, bounce this, pass. Yeah, explore at least gives us something to do next turn. And he's got a preordain of his own. So we can go. 
explore island island hold up memory lapse which is not <coughs> not the worst you can memory lapse him for a couple of turns right but we really need to find like a white land or and or a mole drifter and that's going to allow us to go get a white land so what is the play this turn i can tap growth chamber use i suppose my blue mana to go get a planes play the planes use green white cast sunscape familiar or tap yeah I don't know if I can play sunscape I don't know if I can fetch white play sunscape and hold up memory lapse is that possible so spend two, so tap this for two spend one get a planes play the planes no I can right tap this for two spend one to get planes play the planes uh, no I can't so man I think I want to get this sunscape down really badly though. I think my future turns become much better. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to try to do is focus on getting this sunscape down. Hey, it's AP. Now, I could play this island, spend green, blue, cast, explore, but that won't allow me to play my Sunscape Familiar, so I think it's painful, but I just want to get this damn Sunscape Familiar down so badly that I think that's what I'm doing here. We are going to potentially be able to have a really badass turn next turn. And he's just going Island Pass. So that seems really good for us. So we can float a blue and cast Explore, I suppose. I'll float a blue cast explore. See if he fights this. He does not fight it. We can spend our blue on this preordain. And he's presumably not going to fight that either. Those are both really good draws. So I feel like I'm just going top, top. I don't think the order matters much. And play an island, hold up memory lapse. Okay. This could be a slow grindy game, but it could also be kind of cool. What the hell is his deck doing? I don't know what common spell there is that like allows you to deal damage based on toughness. But I would presume that that's what his deck is trying to do. Goblin Ski Patrol. This could be wall combo. Get Axebane Guardian with an untapper for infinite mana. Would need green mana though. Yeah, so with Axebane... Oh, shit. You know what? I didn't play my extra land off the Explorer just realized that 
I missed a freaking land drop. Goblin Ski Patrol. I missed a land drop, that's such a bummer. I don't know why I did that. I could have made a second land drop. Okay, so anyway, the combo is, it's like a, he plays like a, I don't know what it costs, four mana wall that's red that says pay eight mana, shoot somebody for two or something like that. But if he has infinite mana, he can just do that as much as he wants. I think that's the combo. Sorry, I'm kind of tired tonight. Okay. Um. So one, two, three, four. So I can mull drifter with memory lapse backup. And I guess that's probably what I'm gonna do. Mold Drifter with Memory Lapse Backup. Super annoying, I missed a freaking land drop though. Because then I could just have double Memory Lapse up right now. Uh, man. Resolves, we draw our two cards. We already made our land drop for the turn, so we're just gonna pass. And he's gonna brainstorm. Not fighting over that. Uh, he draws three, and puts two back. I have a version of Wonder Walls, not playing those things though, which much, much heavier green. Draw with lead the stampede and winding way. What does Winding Way do? I'm going to look that up right now. Winding Way. Modern Horizons. He play, draws, plays man. She's creature, land, reveal the top four cards there. I put all those cards in the reel this way into your hand, rest in your graveyard. Pretty legit. Let's you pick a land or a creature, huh? Okay. So he might just be flooding out. And now we have double memory lapse up. And... He's gonna help us fix our mana. I imagine he wouldn't fight over the astrolabe, that'd be goofy. I don't see any reason not to attack next. We might have a bit of a lock though. So, we could Temporal Spring here with double memory lapse up. And then we could start like our KO Mansering. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Or let's try to do that at least. So, we're gonna Temporal Spring put this shit on top. <coughs> Kind of just sets him back a turn. Okay, that resolves. And we have double memory lapse up. Uh, hmm. So currently I only have one memory lapse up, but I I just don't think he has like burn, for example, to kill this mole drifter, so I feel safe enough only having a single memory lapse up currently. Because the, by getting another sunscape out, it's gonna make this Archaeomancer cost two mana, which is pretty legit. Sure. Scries one bottom, so he's obviously looking for something. But nine turns and he's dead. Okay, passes to us. We draw evolving wilds. Let's go to combat. 
get in for two. And we could Archaeomancer here get back Temporal Spring, I suppose. way I could have tapped that would have been better. So I currently, I guess this means I can only hold up one memory lapse, but that's probably okay. So I'm going to temporal spring this thing again. Oh, you know what? I should probably temporal spring the other one because the other, this one's scrying him, scrying one every turn. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's okay. Uh, definitely making some mistakes. I should absolutely. I guess I was tem I was trying to temporal spring the one that costs mana, but that's really ridiculous. That's stupid. He's got six mana, so I should absolutely temporal spring the one that doesn't have an ETB effect. I guess this Archaeomancer is not worth a lot as far as attacking goes. Six mana? Or, yeah, six mana. Is he casting for six? Hexproof? Four or five hexproof creature. Okay, I guess I'm going to memory lapse that. I wasn't expecting that. Four or five hexproof for six. What? Maybe this guy just has a junk deck. Like, what? Does, how does that contribute? I don't know. Wouldn't he be better off playing striped river winder? Because then he could cycle. Okay, so we draw another temporal spring. So we'll do this right this time. We will Temporal Spring the one that doesn't have an ETB effect. And I don't want to tap my lands. Hmm. Guess I can play this. Oops. Tap like this, cast our Kaomancer, get back Temporal Spring, tap this, he concedes. Okay, yeah, I mean, he, he was kind of done for there, wasn't he? Uh, okay, so he's on some kind of weird wall strategy. Is it anything I want to bring in against him? Uh, we didn't see any instance. Um, I don't think this weather of the storm is doing anything against this guy. Uh, uh, he's on mono, some kind of mono blue. This cycles, uh, so we could play Relic of Changes because it cycles. Um, I guess if our shit gets countered somehow. Pulse, we can get it back with Pulse, or we can jump block and then get something back with Pulse. So I feel like that's better than playing Weather the Storm against him. But I don't know. Uh, yes. His hand seems decent. We could use a couple lands, but we do have an Explorer that might help us find land. If we can remember to make all our, our land drops correctly this time. So opponent goes island, pass. We don't know what the hell the opponent's playing. Drawing an Ash Barons would have been really nice so we, that we could have maybe done something with this open mana, but opponent plays another island. What do you got, a wall? No. It's possible he's holding up a counter spell.
Uh, we're just gonna bounce this and discard a pulse to hand size. I mean, our hand has a lot of stuff in it, so I'll say that much. Uh, so I can go Plains, Sunscape, Float a Green, Cast, Explore. I feel like if he lets the sunscape resolve, he's probably letting the explorer resolve. There's our second land drop, and we pass. He's probably gonna fetch an island vapor snag on my sunscape. Okay. I mean, that feels like more of a Delver card, right? Or blue, red, is it combo or whatever? I don't know why his deck's playing Vapor Snag, but yeah, fine. You Vapor Snag my Sunscape Familiar. I could think of a better use for the Vapor Snag when I ephemerate this Archaeomancer. You go Vapor Snag in response. I guess I could see an argument for Vapor Snagging aggressively like that. Just, I don't know, is a momentum play of some kind? I think we just want to load up on some blue mana here. Fetch Island. And untap, keep draw step, forest. Sunscape. Hold up memory lapse. Or I can go tap like this, float a blue, cast sunscape. <coughs> I think this is actually a nice way to play it. See if this resolves. It resolves. Play forest. Play or tap forest. Island. Cast temporal spring. He goes for a vapor snag on the sunscape familiar in response. Um. Yeah, sure. And he's gonna brainstorm with Temporal Spring on the stack. Hmm. Cause he could have floated the mana, cast Brainstorm. after Temporal Spring resolves, and this way he would have the ability to draw into something other than Basic Island. Now, when he untaps, he's just gonna be drawing Basic Island. Kinda minor thing, puts Island on top, okay, and pass. So we know what his draw is. We don't really know the rest of his hand, granted. All these vapor snags are really curious. Okay. Hmm. I guess he's scrying away a card that he had put on top with his brainstorm. So there's that. Um, tap like this, float a blue. I think. Cast my sunscape. A blue 
floating. So I could go, I could play this island, tap the three lands that I have in, the two lands that I have in play already, cast our Mancer, get back Temporal Spring. Sure. Still have up memory lapse. I'm gonna vapor snag this in response. Hmm. I think I'm getting burnout on these vapor snags, so I'm gonna memory lapse this. Uh, okay, I guess he drew all four vapor snags. Fine. Uh,. One, one of those vapor snacks goes on top, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do I want to get back with our Kaomancer? Probably, it, now I probably want to get back memory lapse with our Kaomancer, I think. Past turn. Jeez, this guy drew four freaking vapor snag. I'm gonna get vapor snagged five goddamn times this game. Are you kidding me, dude? Please vapor snag the Archaeomancer. Please. You know you want to. Who doesn't want to play five vapor snags? And I mean, I guess I shouldn't get upset, but. Let's organize these lands a little bit. I like that better. I've been trying to tap this growth chamber right away every turn because I always feel like these dual lands, whatever you want to call them, are like a liability. Uh, so I'm going to Sunscape. Plot twist. Opponent's win con is damaged from recurring vapor snags. I, lo I love it. Okay, I guess I'm just playing Sunscape and passing, basically, right? It's not much else to do. Okay, uh, real quick, does our list run compulsive research? It does. Okay, thought so. I think I'm gonna save this island for an, a, a compulsive research. We, we're pretty set on mana as it is just past the turn uh archaeomancer damn it uh, all right all right fine fuck it fuck it vapor snag me five times this game i was hoping he was going to target my archaeomancer that would have been super funny basically just holding up this memory lapse that he knows about for... And at this point, we don't even really need this sunscape anymore because we got so much mana. Okay, so that resolves. Temporal Spring and Island. Okay, so that resolves. Uh, yeah, pass. Kind of slow until we find a mole drifter, but once we do, we got this ephemerate. I could ephemerate this, uh, Archaeomancer, but that seems like super innocuous. And also, ephemerate Archaeomancer might be nice. Um, huh, I could snap my own, own Archaeomancer. That seems kind of weird, though. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh yeah, let's, let's save Ephemerate 
until we have something better to get back like the memory lapse. He's got three cards in hand. And we drew another snap, which is, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I could snap this thing and start wanting him to death with my Archaeomancer, but there's a compulsive research. We can use that, try to find something, and you know, maybe we can get rid of this island that we've been hanging on to for a while now. Draw three cards, discard uh, the island, I guess. We can go get another island. That's a pretty free action to take. And I could tap three, cast Archaeomancer, get back, I guess, Temporal Spring or Compulsive Research and still have up Memory Lapse because we haven't played a land yet. So let's do that. Let's tap three and Archaeomancer. I don't even know what I want to get back. Because uh, I can compulsive research to try to find a mole drifter, or I can temporal spring just to slow him down. I think I'll go with the compulsive research and pass turn. Now I kind of want him to play some expensive creature that I can snap, to be honest. Six mana. Watch him play his hexproof creature and I just get obliterated somehow. What is this? Enchant creature can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. That creature's controller may sacrifice a permanent for that player. Creature's controller. Player to ignore this effect until end of turn hits you, return it to its owner's hand. Uh, I could snap my own thing in response. I don't think I really care about this. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I really care about that card. Doesn't seem like it matters. Very much. Um, okay, so it's compulsive research. We're gonna find a mole drifter at this point and that's really what we want. to be like ephemerating. So I could do two, cast, sunscape, and then three, cast, mold drifter. Or I can do one, two, three, four, cast, mold drifter, hold up memory lapse still. I think I like that. Suppose he can pay to re recur this curse thing uh, and then replay it. And yeah, I don't think I really care about that. Okay, that resolves. We draw two. We haven't made a land drop yet. got a lot of cards in hand. So I could snap at this point and I might do that. Let's play Azorius Chancery. Let's bounce something we don't really care about like this forest. Let's snap and 
sure I'll bounce his thing and untap these two lands. He's gonna brainstorm in response. But basically, if this snap resolves and we untap these lands, that's pretty much game over right there. Because we're gonna have up double memory lapse. Yes. Sorry. Opponent was waiting for me to respond. Um, I guess he's wondering if I have a foil or something. He was waiting for me to say that brainstorm resolves. I I don't know. I don't usually assume people have uh, foils unless they're on Delver, and even then, I don't really assume it. But like. I don't think anyone's really playing foil except Delver, right? Like, you need to have lots and lots of islands. Uh, okay, so that resolves. We're gonna untap these lands. And we're gonna attack for two. And yeah, that's basically game right there. Um, I think holding up dumb room, I feel like no one plays foil at all. Right, right, no one does. So we have to discard two. Uh, let's just discard this forest and one of these sunscapes. I don't fucking know. Hold up double, basically just hold up double, double memory lapse. And I, don't, I sort of doubt he's going to be able to beat that. If he plays his 06 wall, I don't care about that. Um. Here. This guy's deck. Look at this. Look at this. Five vapor snags. Brainstorm, brainstorm, ponder. Like, what is going on here? It's like a really, really bad mono blue Delver deck with, without Delvers or like Scred or uh, Grimag Anglers. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I do want to fight over this. Let's. Float a white for ephemerate. Memory lapse that shit. How do they plan to win it all? I don't know how they plan to win, man. I don't. Now, I'll certainly spend my white. See, he should have just gone to his next main phase. Wait, wait, wait. Did he have two of those things? Uh, Puts it on top of his library. Yeah, sure enough, he did. Um... Now I can actually use my white mana to cast Ephemerate, and when this thing tries to land, it's gonna be a new creature, right? Yep. That it's like play of the play of the week right there. Bam, motherfucker. And then he's gonna cast his wall runes, okay. I don't know how they plan to win Goblin Ski Patrol. I don't think they know how they plan to win. I could snap something here, but I, I don't know. And let's just ephemerate one of these guys and get back uh, memory lapse. Sure. Wow. I have so many options. I guess I'll temporal spring this guy so that I can kill him faster. Did you catch my did you catch any of my match earlier against Boros Bully? Or just like regular basically just like regular modern Boros? Um, that was a much more that was a much closer match for sure. Oh you know what the other thing I gotta do is update my record. So we're now three and one for the evening. There we go. Opponent takes one, two, three, four, five. Wait, he was at 18. He should be taking, oh, it should be taking four down to 14. Only last two minutes or so. Well, okay, then you saw the, la the more competitive 
uh, moments, I suppose. Um, I basically have too many things to do at this point, like too many options. Haven't played a land yet. Sure, why not? Let's mold drifter. What do I lose to at this point? I have so much stuff to do. Triple memory laps up. Don't forget, stay hydrated, folks. Basically not gonna fight over much of anything. So, don't we know what card is on top currently? It's a, it's one of these curse things. It's actually a really good card. Good games, man. I almost felt bad telling that guy good games because it's like, those weren't good games at all. Those were really bad games. Um, I like this list though. Um, let me pull up a different list really quick though while I got you in the call. So this is my, is basically like five color infect. It's actually four colors, but, or no, wait, is red, white? It is five colors, five color infect. Um, just using astrolabes and abundant growths for mana fixing. And then we got like all the best threats basically uh, in, available in fact, Blighted Agent being the best, Glistener Elf, which is good against some matches, like kind of like Tron maybe. It's someone that's not gonna play a creature until like turn five or whatever, turn four. Plague Stingers, uh, Seal of Strength, uh, just for pump Rancor, which is some of the best pump in the game. Mutagenic Growths to be kind of like gut shot type effects. Finds the Vast Wood, really good pump. Um, lots of forests, and the reason for that is because we kind of need double green. Uh, Cave of Temptation, which is really good for like late game. Reckless Charge has flashback, and actually. I lost to a pop rune effect deck with Blighted Mamba. Yeah, that one has Regenerate. This deck has Unearth, which is like kind of like better. And this is a combo. So let's say I go turn one up, like turn one Astrolabe or turn one Abundant Growth, turn two Blighted Agent, they bolt it, right? Turn three, we go like potentially another Mana Fixer, and then we go Unearth Reckless Charge and swing for four on turn three, unblockable, through a bolt. Um, and then sideboard, this is a really cool card. Enchanted creature gains protection from black and red. I haven't actually had a chance to cast it yet, but I saw somebody else using this card. Um, and that's obviously really good in this format. This is also some interesting tech. And again, I've only played it like once, but it's good against uh, the Kombucha Witch that Mono, back, mono Black plays, and it's good against Electricaries, uh, or it's also, it's probably okay against Elves, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some new Infect cards with like Proliferate. Uh, obviously Dispel's good tech, Hydroblast, Nature's Claim, and Duress. Um, so this, is, this is my like five color Infect list. Uh, it's not, purely my creation I, a lot of this i got from a guy uh calls himself Popperganda, and he play he plays on youtube a lot uh, so honestly this is really like his list but i kind of like tweaked it a little bit for myself um yeah so anyway man thanks for tuning in uh goblin ski patrol uh that was my second match tonight so i'm gonna go ahead and call it there's not very many people on anymore tonight that is but uh yeah i appreciate you stopping in um if you like skyrim tune into my skyrim streams uh but otherwise i'll just catch you when i'm playing pop or Earth. that works too um take care dude good streaming tonight we went uh two and oh for the matches that we played <laughs>